Hey there everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. So in this video, I will explain to you how you can change your computer's DNS setting and this will not only help, uh, well, get you faster DNS queries, but it will also at the same time provide you with some additional security. Now first of all, DNS, what is it? So DNS, uh, the abbreviation DNS is Domain Name Service and you can think of it as basically being like a phone book uh, to the internet like for example when we're in our browser and we want to go to a website what we do is we type in the domain name we type in um, you know bbc.co.uk we type in google.com we type in disney.com so that's the domain name now computer needs to translate that into an IP address because that's that's the main thing which computer needs to get to where it needs to go to find its destination so to speak so the DNS server is going to respond to the computer and it's going to say okay you've asked me for this DNS name and the um, corresponding IP address to that is so and so so that's what it needs now when you visit a website for the first time uh, as I said it's going to query the DNS server the DNS server will respond with the IP address and following that um, that address will be uh, saved in your in your computer's uh, DNS cache. So the next time you go to it, it's not going to need to perform that query again. It's going to it's cached on your system. Your system already knows the destination, and it's going to go directly there without having to perform that DNS query again. Right. So um, why do we need to change our DNS server? Well, because usually. Uh, what happens is our router will automatically give us uh, give our computers the DNS server of the router or the DNS server of your ISP and they're usually very slow they're slower let's say they're slow and they don't provide any additional security all they do is exactly why I said uh, uh, they they return the IP address of the destination you're trying to reach so what we want to do is change that we want to change it and instead of querying uh, your uh, your ISP's DNS, we're going to query what I think is the fastest one basically in the world, the best service, which is Cloudflare's uh, DNS. Um, some people prefer Google, but if you do some measurements, what I've seen is Cloudflare is the fastest. So we're going to use uh, the Cloudflare DNS server to respond to any DNS queries which our system makes. Now, how are we going to do that? Now, you can do it manually, but I'm going to show you a nice little tool which is just going to make our lives easier. All right, so we're going to download that little tool and that will give us the ability to quickly change DNS servers on our Windows machine. So pop into your browser uh, and I've got a little short, short link for you here. So HTTPS and of course, as always, this link may change from time to time. So keep your eye uh, in the description of the video. Take a look there in case this URL which I'm typing in right now doesn't work in the future. There will be a new one in the video description. So... DNS jumper. So that's what the call is called. DNS jumper. We're just downloading it now to our to our PC. Once that's downloaded, we'll head over to our downloads folder where we will locate the downloaded file. We can close our browser now. And we'll extract this. I'm just going to right click on it. Use whatever extraction tool you want, compression tool. So I'm going to right click on this. Extract all extract so it's extracted the folder and it's opened up in a new window as well but basically this is what we've extracted go into the folder and find the executable the application file this is it DNS jumper just double click that give it a confirmation there yes right so um, when you first fire it up, it's going to show you what your DNS servers are right now, basically. As you can see, this, for example, is my uh, router. So my router here uh, is providing me a DNS, and that in turn is going out and getting from the ISP, most likely. It depends how your router is set up. But what we want to do now is tell uh, Windows to do to use specific DNS servers. So you got your network adapter here. By default, you should have selected the correct one. You may have multiple ones on your system. 
but usually it selects the correct one, the one which is, let's say, active at the time. Now choose DNS server. You've got a drop down list here. Oh, sorry. And I should mention the first time you run this, if we go to options, always click on the update button so you can download if there's like a fresh list of DNS servers. So remember to do that first time round or from time to time if you want. But basically, once we're here, we can now choose our DNS server. So you can see it's all the main ones here. What we're looking for is Cloudflare. So we're going to use that. Now, um, other than being fast, as I said in the beginning of the video, it's going to provide additional security. So, you know, these are uh, companies, uh, huge companies providing DNS services, and they have big databases of um, domains which may not be very safe to visit, you know, suspicious things, uh, sites where there might be uh, malicious activity going on. Uh, and they've uh, put all these um, domains uh, along with their corresponding IPs into this database. So the advantage you have now of using a service like this, which does provide additional security protection, is that if your system does attempt to go to one of these sites, maybe you'll get an email and there's a link in it and you know, unwittingly you click on it and it is a malicious site. If it has been cataloged by this service, it's going to respond by instead of giving you the address to go to that malicious site, it's going to give you uh, and it's going to basically not let you go there for your safety. So it's going to block access to that malicious site. So as we're here, we can, of course, choose the DNS server we want. Or you can click on this item here, DNS groups, and they've grouped them into default, well, basically the default list where there's everything, or there's family safe DNS list. So if I was to select this now, family safe DNS list, and then I go to my drop down. Now, if you select any one of these, you're going to have, of course, the regular DNS service. You're going to have, uh, it's going to block malicious uh, malware, and they're also going to be, well, as the name says, that they are the uh, family safe. It's also going to block any adult content. So if you apply this on your PC and then somebody uh, uh, attempts to access an, an adult site, something like that, it's also going to block it. So this is also great if you've got kids around and you want to block some stuff which they, you know, might get to accidentally, let's say. So you can do it with this method. Or if you just want to block your, uh, get your regular requests and also have that security feature of blocking malicious sites, we'll, you can select the secure DNS list. And this is the one we're going to try now. So secure DNS list, we're going to go to the drop down. So all of these ones provide security based uh, DNS um, uh, resolution. So we're going to select uh, Cloudflare malware blocking. So we've selected that. It's popped in the primary uh, DNS server. It's, it's also popped in here the backup DNS server. So if one of these, if this goes down, it will switch over to the other one. Basically, select it and just hit apply. That's it. Apply DNS, and you're done. And you can also flush DNS. So this will clear that cache which I mentioned earlier. Uh, if you're, uh, as I said, when your uh, PC visits a website for the first time. It will cache that address and it'll keep in its memory until you clear it. So we can flush that as well. So there we go. We've done it now. So now we are running with the uh, Cloudflare malware blocking uh, DNS servers. So you should have faster response times and uh, any uh, attempts that your system makes to go to a site which has been um, you know, it's a known site known for malware, all these, uh, all this bad stuff it's going to block it and uh, yeah solid you'll be safe so this is a great little tool easy I mean you can you can do it manually there's different ways to get to DNS things I think this is the easiest for everyone it doesn't depend so much on the specific operating system like if you're running Windows uh, 10 or Windows 11 you can use this tool it's just going to get done for you real quick so I hope you like this uh, video guys I hope you found it useful um, as I said um, I strongly recommend that you do switch over to um, specifically actually the Cloudflare malware blocking. There's other ones of course or you could go um, for the family safe one, Cloudflare again. Uh, I've done my tests, you can do your tests as well. There are tools which actually give you performance uh, which one's faster and from what I've seen Cloudflare always comes up uh, first. It's the fastest, fastest response times. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.